Здравствуйте, Номошкар, welcome to the Friday meet organized by the Russian Center for Science and Culture in Kolkata. At our last discussion, we focused on the first or the pioneer Russian Indologist Gerasim Stepanovich Lebedev. He came to Kolkata in the year 1787 from Madras and then he stayed here for 10 long years. During his stay in Kolkata of 10 years, he lived at nine different places and presented 10 different concerts, excluding the very close or private ones. And in these concerts, he presented the compositions of the eminent musicians of different eras and also one of his own, which was known as Benaras Suite. During his stay here, he started mixing with the people of Kolkata and particularly with the upper intelligentsia and also with the downtrodden people. He started learning Sanskrit and Bengali with the help of Pandit Goloknath Dash in exchange of teaching him the violin. That was the condition between the two. He also had two other tutors for him. One was Pandit Jagamohan Bhattacharya and another was Pandit Jagannath Torkalankar. I mean, Jagannath Torko Ponchan, and his name was. So, with their help, he started learning Bengali and Sanskrit and also local dialects of Hindustani, which he acquired by himself also because he used to mix with the local people. And he, within a short span of time, he translated the first portion of Bidda Shundar, written by or composed by the famous Indian poet Rai Gunakar Bharat Chandra. During his staying in Kolkata, he also started mixing with the people. As he was mixing with the people, he also started doing research work on various topics. They were like the sources of Indian customs and traditions, then economics and geography, also the castes and culture, their mixing, their ways of interactions, and also the Indian arithmetic, astronomy, cosmology, and making of Indian calendars, the method, methodology of Indian calendars. He also dwelt upon the possible trade routes between Russia and India for direct trades. And these were remarkable things which he did within short span of time. He also did another major important thing that the comparative study of the Indian and European mythological characters. And another important thing which he did that the to study the grammatical structure of different Indian languages and also the dialects of the downtrodden people of Bengal of the Eastern India at that time. These were very important things which he did for the course of during this stay here for the future and which was remarkably appreciated by the people, by the Indologists later on. However, as he was a musician and as he started translating some short pieces of different writers, he started, he started translating also, of, as I said earlier, of Jodrells and uh, this disguise and also the Love is the Best Doctor. And when he translated it completely, he invited his tutors to get the experience from them to get their suggestion about the translations. They all appreciated and even they suggested him that if uh, Mr. Lebedev would like to organize a presentation of a play, presentation of the play like the disguise or the love is the best doctor, they will be providing him with the local actors and actresses because at those times usually male characters were presented by the male by the by the peep, by the male and the character of the women were also represented by the male so that was the first the first time that the male and female characters appeared for gerasim levadev they arranged three female people actors and 10 male actors they would rehearsed attentively and for a for a, for a seriously for the period of three months and after that he invited again his friends to show them 
at the rehearsals about the development of the structure. He understood that the people were very happy and they suggested him to organize the play. And Gerasim Levadev started planning about it and it was a red letter day afterwards which I mentioned earlier that was on 27th of November 1795. He first presented the play The Disguise. But before that he was pioneer also in one respect because as we say today for organizing any uh, advertisement for any performances we co if it is published earlier we call that as a teaser and that was also introduced by Gerasim Levedev. During his first performance he mentioned uh, he gave an advertisement on the Calcutta Gadget on 5th of November 1795 that it was like this that by permission of the Honorary Governor General Mr. Levedev's new theatre in Domtola because that was the place where he used to organize the play uh, that the new theatre in Domtola decorated in the Bengali style we will be opened very shortly with a play called The Disguise. The characters to be supported by the performance of both sexes it was categorically mentioned there and then it was mentioned that to commence with vocal and instrumental music called the Indian Serenade and then to those musical instruments which are held by the Bengalis will be also added by the Europeans. The words of the much admired poet Sri Bharat Chandra Roy are set to music. Between the acts some amusing curiosities will be also uh, produced, will be also introduced. The day for the exhibition together with a particular detail on the performance will be notified in the course of next week. And the people of Kolkata, they were waiting eagerly for the next announcement. Not in the next week it came but after three weeks that appeared again in the Calcutta Gadget on for, on, on, for, the, for, the, for, for the, after three weeks on 26th of November 1796. Second advertisement was announced like this that which informed the public about the exact date and time of the show. It was written like that, it was published like this that Bengali Theatre number 25 Domtola, Mr. Lebedev has the honor to acquaint the ladies and gentlemen of the settlement that his theatre will be opened with a comedy called The Disguise. The play to commence at 8 o'clock instant uh, precisely tickets to be held, tickets to be had at, the, at his theatre. And it was a great success. It was not a full drama but one act drama because it was an understanding that the English Englishmen or the local people for them, for the local people Bengali can be understood but not for the Englishmen. So that was in one act. But the people after watching it because it was the whole hall was full completely of 300 seats and people were also standing outside uh, because they were excited for the first performance of a theater by the Bengali actors and in, in Bengali also. That was for the first time because Britishers didn't allow the Indians to take part at their theaters. When it was over, the reaction of Gerasim Levadev was instant and he wrote it in his diary that the assembly was so numerous that had my theatre been thrice as big in size it would still have remained quite filled up. That was a great thing which was done and people liked it and Lebedev had to make a decision that he has to make the second presentation because everybody wanted to have it in full not in one act because they were not satisfied with one act. So next date for the play has was scheduled for 21st of March 1796 and then the Bengal the announcement came to the again to the Calcutta gadget on 10th of March there in 1796 that Bengali theatre number 25 Domtola usually that was the way he was presenting his advertisement that Mr. Levede presents his respectful compliments to the, to the subscribers to his Bengali play. Inform them his second representative representation is fixed for Monday the 21st instant and request 
they will send their subscription they will say, they will send their uh, they will send for tickets and for the account for the for the account of the plot and the scenes of the dramas on or before saturday the 19th instant that was an announcement along with it it was also mentioned that for the better accommodation on uh, for the better accommodation of the audience the number of subs number of uh, subscribers is limited to 200 not 300 this time which is nearly completed that was also mentioned the proposals for the subscription may be had an app on application to mr lebedev directly by whom subscription at one gold mohor it is interesting to note that the ticket price became one gold mohor a, a ticket will be received till the subscription is full after the second successful representation of the play expressing greatness gratitude to the people to the public of kolkata to the people of kolkata for their warm support extended to him a new advertisement appeared also on calcutta gadget on 24th of march immediately after the show and lebedev had the plan to organize the third presentation with the participation of the asian inhabitants living in the city of kolkata and he also applied for that to the british authority however that's a different story which we'll discuss at our next get together till then i say goodbye to you das vidaniya punor darshanayacho namaskar abar dekha hobe dhonnobad